Hello, I'm delighted to have Hans Delin here with me today. Hans is VP of Marketing with uh, Trendminer. Hello, Hans. Hey, good to be here. So this morning, ARC presented their vision for uh, automation systems of the future and the future direction. And we had uh, presenters from Exxon, Mobil, and Georgia Pacific. Uh, what, what was your take or your view on the presentation this morning? Well, it, it was very interesting, and I, I actually felt kind of welcome throughout what was in, 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 in the message of the keynotes. It was a lot about innovation and disruption. I mean, everyone talks about innovation and disruption, but you even see then a company like Exxon Mobile setting up big projects, as in, we need to start thinking differently. We need to start rethinking the way we, we use our assets, the way we use our softwares and so on. Um, and then I looked into the room and we have about 500, 700 people in the room and you're talking about innovation and disruption, but the whole room is in ties and jackets and I was the only one in a polo and sneakers. So that was a bit weird. It's like, I think we'll need a, a couple of more uh, disruptive players, younger and agile companies to make that even helping happen. So the, the good part about that is that the, the sense of urgency is there uh, within the industry to do things differently and change it. Um, I hope we'll see a couple more polos by the next ARC conference. Trendminer started as a Belgium-based uh, company called D-Square in about 2008. Uh, and your, the D-Square focus at the time was based on alarm management and analytics uh, tools. Can you talk a little bit about how your company has grown and the change of focus? Yeah, so Trendminer as such as a product is only two to three years old, uh, but the company is founded in 2008. And it was founded as a research development company, a spin-off from the university together with some people from within the process industry that said, you know what, there's a lot of data being captured, being created within the process industry, and there's not enough being done with that. Um, so it started as a research company, not specifically with, oh, we have a bright idea about a new product, let's develop that. Um, so we started in investigating and what can we actually do with this data. First off, what we saw very, uh, very easily is that we had we could a lot do with analytics on top of alarm management, helping people bringing that down. Uh, but that's the services part of, of the company, D-Square as such. Later on, we started developing our first software product, which was, um, and still is by the way, uh, an expert system for the operating team, right? Where um, you got five shifts and if, if something happens in your plant, the system would tell you, well, this is the best way it's been done in the past. If you have did uh, this, this event, that's the action best fitting for you to do because that shift team did it the most efficiently. Now, what we found out developing that is that for every customer we did the implementation, there was a lot of services involved and we did not want to be, we're, we're not founded as a company to be a services club, right? It's not the, one, not the idea. So then we made a product pivot in 2013 into building Trendminer. And Trendminer, um, in, in short, is closing the gap um, of knowledge of the data scientist for the process engineer. So we're, we're doing all the analytics you, could, you can do and need on top of your uh, data mining on top of your historian without the use of a data scientist, bringing it straight up for the process engineer. Mm, good, okay. Uh, the industry, especially the process industries, are hit with some volatile times. We've seen crude prices go from over $100 a bar barrel down to less than 30 and we've got uh, workers that are leaving uh, you know, the workplace, so a lot of knowledge of information is going out the door. How do you think uh, the industry is going to react to these uh, uh, tough times? Yeah, well, it's, it's going to play on multiple levels, of course, right? Um, the base is always we got to do more with less people or at least less resources. Um, there's a couple of things there. I think um, new types of software like ours, where you can have quick wins um, instead of long projects of years and years on to, to get to new value, I think that, that could help. Um, and a lot goes to that um, the knowledge capturing that is not there today. We still come into plans where you have um, written down logs. It's like, this does not help. This does not educate the, the next people. Part actually of our product goes into capturing that knowledge. Um, bringing that knowledge to new people is gonna be a lot more important. Um, when you do that, when you capture more knowledge and make it searchable, you will lose less time than you previously done. So that is going to help you in that efficiency, doing more with less people. Okay. So your company calls Trendminer Google search for the process industries and all this talk about big data and, and analytics. Um, can you talk a little bit about how your company is changing this game? Yeah, 
we, we really want to be that um, young and agile company. Uh, we want to be different as in the big enterprise software solutions today. Kind of what we do there is we want to bring that um, the search interface that you are used to or the consumer way of working with applications on your phone, on your laptop at home, we bring that into the enterprise, um, which is kind of a big uh, differentiation if you look at a couple of other big data solutions in the market or if go to the show floor and try to find every application that now has a web client, all those web clients look like Windows applications in a web app, in, in, in a web browser. At Trendminer, we felt like this is not how you should do it. You should build it for the web. So we made an HTML5 front end application that is very intuitive, like you would use it at home. We also bring, um, you can chat with our, you know, when you go to a website, you get this chat box. We've got this chat box for our support team within your application. Instead of going to a website and filling in a form to get a support ticket, we'll just start that support ticket from, in, from within your web application. That's all part of those, all those small little things make it a more modern platform. Why would you not want the same um, flexibility and agility that you have from your applications at home at your work? Right, okay. The, um... Many owner operators don't make use of the data that they, they have already collected today. And we have uh, uh, years and years of data that are locked up in uh, historians. And, and some companies have even uh, uh, hired a data scientist uh, on uh, staff to help um, organize that data in such a way that it can be uh, viewed to solve a different business problem. Why is, why is uh, the trend miner solution important to not uh, require a data scientist? Yeah, that's actually where we really differentiate from any other solution that goes into analytics today for the process industry is that first of all, so let, let me go back to your first question into why are we capturing all the data in a historian and not doing something with it? Well, because that historian database as such technically is not built for search that historian is built for capturing all the data. It comes from all the sensors, a couple of million points of data a day or a, or a month, and it's built to collect. It is a write-intensive database. Once you start doing querying over five years of time, let's say over 10 tags, 10 measure points, it breaks down. So you just, the reason why we're not doing analytics on top of that is because it's not made for it. So what we do, the solution we, we feel that we need is let's seek uh, let's find the big data solutions that we've seen in other industries that have been uh, successful there, thinking about Hadoop solutions and so on. But what these solutions do is they bring in a data scientist, they bring in big data infrastructure, they're going to copy all the data from your historian and then start doing some smart analytics on top of that. The problem with that is it's, it's taking a lot of time between the point of action and event and the point of analytics. And what gets lost in the whole process is that the process engineer is not involved. The only guy who actually understands the data, not from, uh, from a scientific, from a mathema mathematical perspective, the one who understands the data is not involved as such. It's like, if I wanna write a paper on puppies, right? I wanna buy a new puppy, right? Let's say I wanna buy a new puppy. What would you have done 20 years ago? You would have gone to the librarian and asked him, give me five books about puppies. And then he comes back to you and you say, you know what? Actually, I wanted one with pictures, right? Why would we still want to do that in the enterprise, right? We have a process engineer who has a lot of data and he wants to find what the problem was. So he does an export to a very big Excel file, goes to the data scientist who does crunching in his Hadoop database and comes back with, well, here are a couple of anomalies, but I have no idea what they are. So what Trendminer does is that we'll bring you your tablet where you can Google your puppies. Mm, interesting. We're going to be watching uh, Trendminer very closely to see how things uh, develop and, uh, and un unfold. So thanks for speaking with us today. Thanks for having us. Okay. We've been speaking with uh, Hans de Lin here from uh, Trend, Trend Miner. Uh, Hans is VP of, uh, of Marketing. Thanks for watching.